Hello everybody, we're back again with the testing computer, and if you remember from last week, we were having some trouble running Windows 10 Technical Preview. It was essentially running out of memory just by idling, so running any kind of program would hit the page file and kind of have a slow hard drive, so it made the computer pretty much unusable. Now, most people were able to guess the one upgrade that I did to this computer before that makes it much better. But there's actually really two answers you could have that would be technically correct, but I chose this one over the other because it just seems to make more sense, and I'll explain why right now. You could, in theory, upgrade the memory in this computer. Now, it only has one gigabyte. I'm pretty sure you could up it to two. I'm not sure about four, but here's the thing. You're going to be buying DDR2 memory. And once this computer kicks the bucket, for whatever reason, power supply dies, you know, you get blown caps and you don't really feel like soldering or anything like that, you're going to be stuck with this new DDR2 memory that you just bought, and then you're not going to be able to use it in any newer computers. And this would probably be the better upgrade overall, but it's not going to be very practical in the future. Now, the upgrade that I did do to this, rather than memory, is, of course, add solid-state drive. Yes, this is my OCZ Onyx piece of shit SATA 2 drive. Yeah, this one isn't even that good. I bought it a few years ago, and it's pretty much crap, but it's way better than the hard drive because it is extremely fast compared to a regular hard drive. And, of course, for those of you who don't know, solid-state drive is essentially a flash drive, that runs on the SATA interface, at least this one does. So rather than having a spinning drive and having a read-write head go across the drive physically, you have a memory controller and then it puts all of the files onto the memory, the NAND, equally. So it's very fast compared to a conventional hard drive. And of course this will make our page file much faster than the page file on the regular hard drive. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in and show you what I'm talking about. So, here's our hard drive. We can just go ahead and pull it out of here. Uses regular SATA and power. Regular SATA power, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And the nice thing about flash or solid state drives is that they use flash memory, which means so spinning parts, and that means you don't have to secure this like you would a hard drive. You're not going to get any vibration, so you can just leave that shit in there like that, lock it up, and you're done. Alright, so we are back again on the computer with our fresh new solid state drive, and somebody asked on the earlier video how the computer performed with Windows 7 and 8.1 with the same old hard drive. And of course, Windows 7 did much better than 8.1 due to using much less memory and not having to rely on the page file just to load the clean operating system without any extra software. All of those widgets and live tiles and bread recipes and the NASDAQ really slowed down Windows 8.1 and made using it pretty painful. So. New solid state drive, W split open, let's see how fast the install is. Same DVD, so it'll probably be around the same speed for install, but watch how much better it is to use. Ready? Go. Connors. Typically used for the Okay, so we're at the white screen, and as you can see, it took much less time. We're just going to go ahead and use express settings for right now. To make it a bit faster, and I believe that's what we did before, just kind of click the button super fast. And as you can see, we're loading things from the solid state drive instead of the hard drive, so everything seems to work faster, which is always nice. But of course, since this is an internet thing, we have to wait for the make a new Microsoft account page to load. Takes a little while, but not bad. There we go. Sign in without an account, or Microsoft account, finish. And this should be fairly quick. Ready on time, and... 12.05, yeah, hell of a lot faster. Eight minutes off of the install time, and Honestly, I wasn't expecting that big of a difference because, you know, you're loading files from the DVD to the storage medium and that's always going to take so much time, but 
the SSD really made a difference in terms of loading and setting up windows and all that good stuff. So let's take a look at our memory usage here, see what we're working with. Um, performance, and as you can see we're getting 100% disk usage again because we are idling at greater than one gigabyte of memory usage for the operating system. I'll make up words as I go, don't worry. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem you run into. It's just a fact of life with less than a less than like 2 or 4 gigabytes of memory with Windows 8.1 or Windows 10. You're going to be hitting the page file, but at least with a solid state drive, the page file will be much faster. Now, this also has its own problems where you're getting excessive writes on the solid state drive. And unfortunately, there is a limited amount of writes you can have on a solid state drive. It just really depends on how much you use the computer and yeah, just how much you use the computer determines how long the drive will last for. I think all of mine, they say at least 10 years based on my usage. So that's better than most hard drives. So it's not really a big deal. Oops, open that early. I was supposed to time that, wasn't I? So let's go ahead and install Firefox, which should be pretty quick. So ready? Ready to see how fast this will install? So as you can see, the web browser opens up extremely fast. And get Firefox.com. Makes page loading faster. And the way that page files seem to work, at least in Windows, is that they will be the same size as your memory. So you're only getting an extra gigabyte of page file by default. And now you can make your own page file and set it to whatever size you want. But again, it's not really optimal and it's not really the intended purpose of the page file. Page file is supposed to be temporary, so you don't want to be using it ex as your like exclusive memory. And you could also use something like Windows Ready Boost, where you use an actual flash drive to offload the page file from a hard drive onto a flash drive. Now that's a lot faster than simply having the page file on your hard drive, but it's not nearly as fast as actually having a solid state drive. And of course, you could get a much better solid state drive than this. This is low end, like three or four years ago. It only uses up to SATA 2 interface, and I'll go ahead and pull up a Crystal Disk Mark test to see how fast it is here in a moment. And done, 127. Okay, so right now we're just running a benchmark on the solid state drive, and I was talking a little bit about this earlier, but I think I missed my second point. I was saying how you could just add new memory to this computer, However, you would be buying DDR2 memory, which technically is two generations obsolete because we have DDR4 memory, widely available, motherboard supported, etc. However, if you buy a solid state drive, you're going to be able to use that solid state drive in any computer with SATA or whatever interface you choose. So if this computer were to die, you could pull this solid state drive well, if it was a, a lot newer one, you would it would be more desirable, but, you know, it's still pretty fast. It doesn't matter how old it is. You could put this in any newer computer, and it'll work just fine because it's SATA, as opposed to being DDR2 memory that you're most likely not going to be able to use. I don't know if that actually made any sense or not, but it sounded better in my head, I think. So I'm going to just go ahead and let this run and then come back when it completes. Okay, so we're back, and as you can see, we have some nice numbers, and I'll go ahead and throw up the old crystal disk mark of the old hard drive, and as you can see, these numbers are much better than the other numbers. Like I said, I really don't know what I'm doing. But anyway, what I thought was pretty interesting during this, it's a bit off topic, but apparently while I'm recording this video right now, the FCC voted in favor of the whole net neutrality Title II thing, now, I haven't really been following it too well, and I'm really not sure which way to side on that because, you know, less regulation from the gov, more power for the corporations, you know, what's better? I, 
you know, it's really hard to have an opinion on that, but just saw Verizon's press release, dude. Look how mad they are. Oh, they are so upset about this. Oh my god, that 1930s throwback rules. Oh, they are so pissed. Yeah, this this tells me which opinion to favor on this. Definitely supporting the gov on this one. Look how fucking mad they are. Oh, beautiful. Oh, they are the sorest losers in the world. Can't believe how mad they are. So, yeah, that's my opinion on that, and, like, whatever. So, as you can see, this computer is much faster, much better to use, and, you know, you're adding hardware that you can actually use in the future, rather than adding obsolete memory, so, yeah, solid state drive, it makes a huge difference. It's not just a placebo. So, thank you all very much for watching, and take care.